If you follow EV news, you might have heard headlines like this. Electric car involved in high-speed collision catches fire instantly. These incidents have created the impression that EV battery packs are prone to catching fire after impact. The truth isn't so simple. I'm Dr. C, and today I'm here to tell you how crash-resistant EV battery packs really are. Many think EV battery packs are fragile and easily catch fire after collision. There are some reasons why this might happen. The structure of the battery pack might get compressed and deformed under external forces, leading to breaks in the internal separator and causing short circuits inside the battery. To prevent this, EV batteries are designed with standard safety measures in place, specifically targeted at ensuring such damage does not occur. First, the battery pack is encased in a steel armor this is actually thick aluminum shell. The shell offers robust protection. Energy absorbing structures around the battery pack are designed to absorb impact. The battery pack is also located inside the vehicle's body. This further protects it from impact after unexpected collision. The front and rear parts of the car feature beams that support the vehicle's structure. These also absorb and cushion impacts. This means that common collisions like front impacts or rear end collisions, risk to the battery pack is relatively low. What about side impacts? These may occur when a car is struck while crossing an intersection, for example. These do indeed carry higher risk. This is because a car's side beams are smaller and lack large buffer zones. For this reason, CATL have conducted extensive collision tests and simulations to protect our battery packs against a specific kind of impact. We have expanded the energy absorbing areas on the sides of the batteries. We have also added more bolt fixation points, tightening the connection between the battery pack and the car body. Finally, we have reinforced internal connections within the battery pack. Now the battery cells, cooling plates, bottom shield, and side beams form a unified structure. Together, this helps to disperse energy upon impact. Last but not least, let's talk about the bottom of the car. Sometimes the bottom plate of a battery pack can be pierced by stones or sharp objects. This can also cause fires. While these incidents are rare, we can't ignore them. So we've thickened the aluminum bottom plate of our battery packs. We have also placed impact-resistant foam between the battery cells and the bottom plate. These measures greatly reduce any risk of damage to the underside of the vehicle. Despite these measures, collisions may still occur. When they do, our unique NP 2.0 technology ensures that thermal runaway within the battery cells doesn't spread. This is essential to prevent fire. On top of that, work with OEM partners, we can shut off power to the battery pack within two milliseconds of it being damaged. This further prevents any electrical leakage that could cause further harm to passengers. At CATL, we are confident in our products and we promise to always do our best. But remember that no matter how resilient the battery is, driving safely should always be the priority. Follow proper driving practices to ensure the safety of yourself and others. All right, well, that's all for today. Thank you for joining our CATL Tech Explainer. Stay curious and keep powering forward.